There we go. Waiting for that 10 second mark to make sure it doesn't cut anything off at the beginning here. Uh, hello everyone, I am Nathan P. Butler, this is my channel, this is part 14 of a Let's Play on LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. I promised early on that I would not tackle any new story missions as we went along uh, unless I was tackling them for the first time on the stream. Then I'd go back and free play off stream and whatnot. Uh, when last this picked up, we were at 100%, but not anymore. Uh, I guess the opening spiel here also, I always say... Uh, you can find my Star Wars Timeline Gold, the most comprehensive Star Wars chronology available anywhere uh, on StarWarsFanWorks.com slash Timeline. That will have a new edition on October 17th at over 3,000 pages spread amongst a Legends Timeline Volume 1, Volume 2, Legends Clone Wars Supplement, a Story Group Canon Timeline Document, and an Appendices Document. Uh, more on that, of course, at a later date on the channel here. I'll give some information about it in a video. Uh, we then, of course, have Star Wars Beyond the Films with me and Mark Hurlman talking about legends and canon stuff, now producing episodes weekly, finally back again on StarWarsReport.com. And along with that, we have me and Michael Morris doing Cloud City Casino when there is relevant Star Wars gaming news, also on StarWarsReport.com. On this channel, you'll find things like From the Star Wars Home Video Library, a guide to Disney Infinity for Star Wars fans for those who are still trying to play it, and so on and so on, plus these Let's Plays uh, and live streams of Battlefront. So... We're going to check out the first official DLC level. You may recall uh, that as of a short while ago, they had added in the Phantom Limb DLC, which is timed exclusive free DLC for the PS4 and PS3 versions. And then eventually it will be also released for Xbox 360, Xbox One, and so on. Uh, so that one's out. We have all the character packs from the D from the Season Pass already released, all five of them, but they hadn't released any of the level packs for the DLC, the three that we're supposed to be getting. The first of which is Poe's Quest for Survival. That was officially released uh, this Wednesday, so yesterday, as of the time that we're doing this. Now, of course, when they add a new level, and it's they've had the trophies loaded in for weeks now, um, but just not any of the in-game stats. When they add a new level... All the stats change. So now we're at a point where it's 190, where I had 100% before the D, the new DLC was added. We're at 190 mini kits. The other 10 will come from the new level. We have uh, 253 out of 256 gold bricks. The other three gold bricks will come from finishing the level, getting True Jedi on the level, and getting all the mini kits in the level. Red Bricks, 18 out of 18. The DLC levels are not giving us any new uh, special things that we can turn on with the Red Bricks. 19 out of 20 true Jedi ratings there in the middle. A uh, new one will come from this one. It'll come very quickly because I've got the red uh, bricks turned on. 35 out of 35 of the Carbonite bricks. We're not getting any of those new, it seems, from the DLC. There are now five more characters to unlock uh, from the level. So 277 out of 282 when it comes to characters. And interestingly, it doesn't appear that this level is going to give us any new vehicles because we're still at 85 out of 85, which makes the total 97.8 now, uh, as I sit here with about 16 billion studs that are pretty much useless right now. Because I've got everything, and they're just ramping up. So, we're going to go to the map. Cool feature here. Get that little plus sign there over Jakku. So they're making it so that it's marking where you have new missions uh, for DLC and whatnot. So I go to Jakku. Way down here at the bottom, Pose Quest for Survival. Notice, have not done this yet at all. Uh, no red bricks to find. No mini kits found. No true Jedi or anything like that. We're going to dive straight into it. This is the untold story, at least in the movie, of how Poe gets off of Jakku. Although we did already find out about that in the novelization by Alan Dean Foster for adults. And I think it's Michael Koch who did the, uh, the young reader, or young adult novelization. Either way, we've heard the story, now we get to essentially live it, and hopefully it'll be connected. So, <clears throat> Poe's quest for survival. While on a mission to obtain the location of Luke Skywalker, Poe Dameron is captured by the First Order. Transported to Kylo Ren's ship, the Finalizer. Poe's fate appears sealed until he is liberated from his cell by FN-2187, a stormtrooper who wishes to flee his tyrannical overlords. The pair escape from their Star Destroyer in a stolen Imperial Special Forces TIE Fighter. Oh, gotta point out his Special Forces, you can sell more toys. But as Poe steers them back toward Jakku, their ship is struck by a missile. 
sending them tumbling down toward the planet below. Separated from Finn during the crash, Poe is lost and alone in the harsh desert. And the movie, of course, is just gone, and Finn assumes he's dead, and they don't run into each other again, and Poe doesn't show up in the film again. Well, yes, Poe doesn't show up until the Battle of Takodana flying in in his X-Wing, and he doesn't actually meet with Poe until Poe gets to Dakar, so the Resistance base. So this is going to give us that interim story, theoretically, in something that's meant to reflect canon, but not necessarily be canon in and of itself, that weird gray area. Soon, night must fall. We're going back to Jakku, that's where. I gotta get my Floyd before the First Order does. Creepy echoes. Order. Damn, Finn didn't look very hard, did he? You were right there. You've had a busy day. Nakalit is the character, or Naka it That is, is the character the from tale, a, Mr. Dameron. The novels. Water. Novel. Exhaustively recounted with vivid imagery and boundless detail. You are either a liar or a madman. Whatever you are, it is a good story. I am Naka Ayat. The village you mentioned will be ash by now, and I have no wish to return to Nima Outpost, ruled as it is by a sack of slurge called Unkar Plut. But I can help you get to my friend at Blowback Town. Own goes. Then you're on your own. Oh, don't worry. Own is afflicted with a soft spot for madmen. He'll help you with the transport. Dialogue very much like what we get in the novelization. Cool. Zip it along. Of course, the novelization is not necessarily sitting there drinking. We are being followed. Oh, the chase scene. Again, like the novelization. A motley collection of grunks. You'll also fight the Struss Clan if you play the The Force Awakens beginner game RPG from Fantasy Flight Games. They're not very good shots. They're trying to disable us. If they do, they'll leave us to fry. Maybe you should let me drive. Trust me, I'm the best pilot you've ever met. Whoa. Also, flying a, driving a speeder is the same thing as flying. That would explain why Anakin was already a great pilot, according to yeah, that was great. According to uh, Obi Wan, when all he was doing was doing pod racing initially, and then spinning as a good freaking trick. And yes, I did just get True Jedi super, super, super fast because I've had the uh, oh, that should get me a. Ah, blow him up! Um, because, like I said, I've got the studs activated, the, the stud uh, multipliers that you earn. Okay, well, that was a fast on rail shooting segment. I think we've been herded here deliberately, Naka. Ah, splat! I with your assessment. Truly hope we really are the greatest pilot I've ever met. Power of we surely are doomed. Helps that another one of those red bricks is uh, regenerating hearts. So, whatevs. They're ahead of us, sinking sand. Keep clear. Actually, you mean quicksand? Be our saving grace. I bet we can lose sinking sand. Oh, but of course. Why wouldn't there be a newfound depth to your madness? Ah, uh, as sand is sinking worse, on Jakku. Then I will have enjoyed our so time together, So go the prospects together, of the country. Friend. Sorry, is that a? Bad Clinton Trump reference. I do like the, the the shifting piece up in the front for the motor running. Kind of a cool toy to have. Blowback town. But ah, yes. We may have been premature in believing our troubles were behind us. Those Struss clan members must have called ahead to their brethren. We need to get down there. First we flee from the Struss clan, and now we run headlong towards them. Definitely a madman. Your friend cost us plenty of speeders and clan members, Blarina. I don't... I don't know any Naka yet. Oh, wait, he... You didn't actually say his name yet, did you? 
Take all the portions, boys. Smart. Leave nothing for these moof milkers. I want to know what a moof is. I want to see a moof. My mother was a moof milker. We had nerfs. Now we have moofs. Once again, I am willing to entertain mm -hmm. the man of mm -hmm. a madman mm -hmm. if you mm -hmm. have one. Mm -hmm. First thing we need to do is even the odds. We gotta free those townsfolk. Right. Ah, so we must create a distraction, yes. And yeah, I've got destroy on contact turned on also, which Probably lets me not have to punch things crawled. to break them. I can just walk we in. Are gonna clear this town out. Uh, let's see. I got a feeling that's not the one that I wanted to do first. No, no. Yeah, okay. I'm getting hungry, boys. Can you hurry things up? I shall be back momentarily. Momentito. Now, how to dispense the food portions? Oh, you're giving away food portions? Ah, come on. Who's okay, that looks like actual that food. Up? That doesn't look like that me, green pus sure. that Ray was eating. It's not pus, it's bread, yes. Our it's distraction pus. is almost complete. So fired a little thing. Oh, okay. Hey, no! That isn't for you! That was gonna be my food! It would appear your madness is infectious! I hope you are as adept in the past as you are with a vehicle! Oh, trophy earned, quite the marksman. The day, they tangled with Naka Ayat and his Batman friend. You Naka are quite the marksman. I feel like this is. I, mean, I know this is Jakku, but I almost feel like I'm Marty McFly. And I'm waiting for Mad Dog Tannen to come out. Own goes. Nope, you can't do anything there unless I got a. Water guy. Permanent. Great. I mean, I had a nice vacation, but I'd kind of like to get back to it. Why am I even bothering? I really think about it, because I've already got way more than I'll actually need. Alright, well, that'll need a Chewbacca. Or someone like Chewbacca, and that'll need a Lugga Beast, or someone like Grievous who can bash through. Or Grumgar, or whatever his name is from uh, Force Awakens. Or... Yeah, so and that'll need someone like a ray. So it's interesting. So it's a relatively small um, map so far, but you can see a lot of spots where it's pretty obvious that must be where they're going to be putting in the new uh, what you call it? It's pulling in some of the other. Uh, it's for Dark Vader or some other Dark Sider. Uh, the other mini kits. There you go. And a spot for BB-8. Of course, isn't with him yet. And a spot for someone with a stick. Which neither of these characters has. Okay. Basically using almost every different ability that the individual characters can have in the game. Those are some uncomfortable looking chairs. There we go. Pull! Man, Poe is just breaking shit all over the place. I'm gonna jump and get on that. I'm betting probably not. Just cause of the Okay, down we go. That sure looked like there was more than that that fell. I am indeed a member of the Resistance, though that's a rebel, not a Resistance symbol. Their clan numbers are endless. Look. Struss can black back off. I haven't seen that many clan members since the last Trump rally. It, my friend. Uh, moment of madness. <laughs> Thank you once again for your help. 
Apo's tail was quite interesting. Did you transmit his signal? <laughs> yes. If only to humor him. He has a good heart. Oh, did you hear that Ankar Plot had that old heap of junk stolen? <laughs> ah, more good news. Yep, so Finn's already gone with Ray. But aha! He sent his message. Here comes the resistance to pick him up. Hey, Poe! We got your distress call. Hello, generic resistance pilot. Which is probably supposed to be Jess Pava or something, maybe. The general maybe. wants you back at base. Oh, and good news. BB-8 made it off planet. We think he had help. We're <laughs> sweeping for his location now. That's pretty sweet. Oh. Here! So long and thanks yes. for all the fish! And that's it. Wow. All that waiting for that very short DLC. But an interesting thing for those who have never read the novelization to see how Poe gets off the planet. Uh, wow, that's some very fast, quickly earned uh, trophies there, too. Um, more stuff to do, which is always cool. And uh, for a DLC, it's hard to it's hard to grab about the price because even if you were to buy that DLC outside of the season pass, it's three bucks. Super, super cheap. Uh, I would highly suggest if you are playing this game to go ahead and get the season pass if you didn't buy the deluxe edition. Oh, we do get more. It's just not counted on the numbers yet. Um, I would highly... Pardon me. Wow, those don't look different. And probably one more. Yep, there's our five. Um, definitely pick up the season pass. I mean, it's ten bucks, and that's very much giving you a solid discount when it comes to uh, the four different character packs. Um, you get the free other character pack, right? The one that's built into the season pass. It's exclusive to the season pass. The Jedi one. Um, why not? And you get these three. You put the three level packs together. You're already looking at nine bucks, and it's like nine ninety nine. So you're basically getting all the character packs for a buck if you want to look at it that way. It's definitely a worthwhile investment in this game for such a small price. Which means that now... Chewbacca! Ba -ba -ba. We're looking at... I've got seven more to go in and free play and pick up as far as mini kits go. Getting the last of those seven mini kits will provide the last of those gold bricks, which will push me back up to 100%. The other stuff are all set. And interestingly, that count on the ship still says 85 out of 85, even though we just added two more ships, a mini fighter and a regular version of that Strush ship. So I wonder if that's an error and that should be 8686 maybe? Something like that. Um, at this point... No, resume. If I want to switch characters just to give you a sense of the number of characters. I mean, look at this. Ridiculous, ridiculously huge amount of characters here. Um, that you can choose to play with. Um, again, for those who are looking at it going, Well, I wonder how many there are. Remember, some of these, like Finn, it's got one entry but multiple different looks to the character that you can flip through with slightly different abilities. You've got space for your custom characters, and you've got tons and tons and tons now of DLC characters. This one giving us five more plus a ship, whereas usually a DLC that's a character pack will give you, I believe it's eight and a ship. So um, you're just building and building this repertoire of characters that you can play as, even though you'll probably only usually you know, like pick a handful that you tend to want to play as and use those. Like, I tend to almost always grab Ki Adi Mundi, or not Ki Adi Mundi, Kit Fisto, because he's a Jedi and has the uh, uh, the ability to go into those water areas. So, that'll wrap us up. I mean, very quick stream. I just wanted to give you guys a chance to see the Let's Play of that new level. I'll do it again for the other two levels as they are released, um, but we have no really a sense yet of when that's going to happen. But as soon as I do, we'll pop on here. Just so you know, if you want to look ahead, um, next Thursday, October 13th, hey JL, uh, next Thursday is the release date for the PlayStation VR. Yes! Um, I have some games that are on their way or will be on their way from Amazon. Uh, some I'll pick up digitally. I should have my headset, my PlayStation VR headset, either on the 13th or the 14th. So... 
around that time, assuming me and Michael don't just geek out over it, because I think Michael, my partner from uh, Cloud City Casino, is going to be coming down to try it out, depending on when it gets here. Um, but sometime that weekend or early the next week or whenever, I mean, you're going to be seeing some live streams again soon, but probably before you see another Battlefront one, because I've got all the star cards now. All it is is just ridiculous, dull grinding um, to try to reach, you know, level 90 and get more credits and unlock more kind of useless costumes. Um, so Battlefront, I don't plan on doing much in the way of live streams anytime soon. We will for the next DLC and probably one or two times between now and then, but just not anytime in the near future. Things are a little busy right now. Um, this game, I'll be back with more live streaming with this once we do have the next DLC mission. Who knows when that'll come because this one got its trophies weeks before it actually got added to the game this week. Um, so before either of those, very much more than likely will be PlayStation VR streams. Probably not the Battlefront one. They're saying that's holiday 2016, um, but I've got uh, Batman coming, PlayStation VR Worlds, I'm going to be picking up uh, Until Dawn, Rush of Blood, uh, and so on and so on. I plan to pick up quite a few, and they're relatively, because of the smaller content in some cases, they're actually relatively cheap. There's not a lot of full $60 games uh, for PSVR that are coming in this initial wave, so it's a little more cost-effective to try out quite a few. Uh, I've already got my PlayStation Move controllers out, I've got the camera already set up, so... Uh, you will be seeing that apparently when you stream, when you're wearing the VR headset and you stream, like what you play will show up on the screen um, for those who are sitting in the room with you watching it. And if you want to live stream, generally what it's going to stream is whatever the people in the room are seeing as you're playing. I'm assuming you'll still be able to have the little side window up to be able to show the picture of the person in the headset. The downside is I see no indication whatsoever because it's VR that when I'm doing a VR stream, I'll be able to see the chat at all. So more than likely when I do a PSVR stream, there will be no chat running on the side and I'll switch the position or enlarge or whatever the little box. You can see me actually using the hardware as I play the VR games because there just won't be a way to engage from a chat standpoint. Um, even if I had somebody sitting next to me reading the chat out loud to me, I'd be wearing this headset to be able to let it let you hear what I'm saying, um, as opposed to using the plug-in headset, the little earphone things that come with the unit. Um, so just kind of know that's coming, but probably not with the chat enabled unless I figure out a way to do that uh, effectively. With that, I will head out of here. Save and exit. Uh, again, you can find the podcast I'm involved with, Star Wars Beyond the Films. Me and Mark Hurdle have been talking about canon and legend stories. Uh, we're about to record an episode tomorrow on uh, uh, Legacy Tatooine. We just released our episode on Lost Stars. We've released recent episodes on Bloodline, on Life Dead, on Legacy Storms, and so on and so on and so on. And you can find that at StarWarsReport.com. You can also find Cloud City Casino with me and Michael Morris talking about Star Wars gaming, also on StarWarsReport.com. Our most recent episode had to do with mainly uh, the new wave of X-Wing miniatures and uh, talk about uh, Rogue Friday and the issue of stores breaking sale dates and things like that, breaking uh, street dates, shelf dates. Um, let's see. Uh, of course, the Star Wars Timeline Gold, the most comprehensive Star Wars chronology available anywhere is about to have its 2016 edition released at over 3,000 combined pages across its five documents. That'll be released on October 17 at StarWarsFanWorks.com slash timeline. I do intend to add a video to the feed at some point that day about it or around that time about it so you can kind of know what it is, what's coming. And I'll show you an easy way to get that if you use an iPad to get that onto iBooks to make it easier to use on a mobile device. Um, beyond that... Star Wars, uh, from the Star Wars Home Video Library, also on this feed, has had some recent new episodes. We'll have one coming up sometime in the next few weeks on the Derry Lee UK Mail Away exclusive VHS tape of uh, an episode of Droids. And of course, in November, there'll be one on the 3D release of The Force Awakens on Blu ray. And then we'll have one in December for sure on the Freemaker Adventures. And then once we get to around the end of the year, once I'm on the Christmas break, or the semester break, whatever you want to call it, I will go through and be doing a new version of that visual timeline that goes year to year through the different home video releases uh, with a slightly new approach to that. It'll be uh, version 3.0. So uh, good stuff coming between now and the end of the year still on the feed, just not necessarily a lot in the way of live streams for Star Wars stuff until they actually give us more Star Wars content. Uh, until then, thank you all for watching. Thanks, JL, for being here as usual, or as so often, I guess I should say. Um... And yeah, yeah, I'll catch you on the next stream. Thanks for watching. <laughs>